What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to try this red-green uh, mid-range deck again. We made some changes. We added one ram through and two scorching dragon fires to the sideboard instead of the uh, hazard spike field hazards. We also switched out Ugin's for Great Henge, and we switched out the Thuradas for two ram throughs, which I think is probably very good when, when we have a, a bunch of trample creatures. I'm tempted to cut one questing beast for something else with trample, maybe, but it's just so good. The problem is there's a lot of creatures without trample, and and Garrick's Harbinger, or Garrick's Uprising, is another card I'm considering. I'm also writing about this for my article, uh, which if you're if you're watching this on YouTube, will go up today on Wednesday. So check that out. And um, I don't know what I'm looking for here. So this gives creatures you control have trample. It gives Questing Beast trample. It gives Bone Crusher Giant, Kazandu Mammoth. It gives them all trample, and uh, that's pretty good when we're trying to exploit Quartzwood Crasher. I might just cut one Questing Beast for it, actually. I kind of want to try just one of them and see if it's any good. Starting in Fall 2021, you need a real ID to travel by air in Wisconsin. We've brought Birth Certificate as... Uh, what's a AS card? Uh, marriage License since changed my name. That seems like a... That seems like a whole to-do. Oh, Social Security card. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, the chat out the chat's not uh, doing great today. I don't know why. So if you guys are watching on YouTube, or even if you're watching on, um, Twitch, just ignore it. Play first. So two cards that are lands. And a Lotus Cobra. A Codus Lobra. I'm going to keep this. You know what? I don't even care. Cancel that. Play this guy first. Because we want to be able to play this on two with Lotus Cobra. Codus Lobra. Well, well, well. Wow, they just ran that dude right out there. Hmm. Well. We can't make five this turn, unfortunately. What we can do is play Fabled Passage, not crack it, and play Clothis. That seems pretty decent here. And next turn we have actually one, two, three, four, five, six mana. That's pretty good. Oh, they just put Lurus in their hand? Sure. So is there a way we can play Great Henge of 7 mana and then play something else? I don't think so. Six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we would. We need nine mana for that nonsense. Or we need eight, I guess. I kind of like Vivian here, so next turn when we Gargaroth, we can actually, uh... Yeah, let's Vivian here. So we have one... Two, three, four, five, six. We have six total mana, so... Do, 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 do. 
How's that chat looking? I think if you had chosen a land with Colothus, you had eight. No, but I mean, no, we would have uh, we would had seven. We had one, two, three, four, five, six mana naturally. Two, the land we had and the the fabled passage was was six. Clothes would have been seven. You got it. Old Lurry of the Dreamy Den. Uh, let's look at our graveyard. How much mana do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, be browser. Let's get rid of this guy. This costs three still? Dang it. Oh, I was one away. Actually, I'll leave you back. Um, yeah, we want... Yeah, we want the reach. Beat them up. <laughs> We're working on it, buddy. Has anyone played Fallout 4 on PC? Yeah, I... I uh, yeah, it's, I, I exclusively play all my Fallouts on PC. They did nothing? Okay, you got it. That seems terrible. One, two, three, four, five. There's no way you can counter this, my friend. You can drown this, I guess. That's fine. I accept. Christopher is watching in secret. Christopher Nifty Christopher is watching in secret. Okay, cool, you got it. Okay, they just lose. Sounds good. <laughs> Oh, your deck is trash and you should feel bad. <sighs> okay, let's uh, get rid of Uprising here. Let's bring in Scorching Dragon Fire. You'll get caught up in the Dragon Fire. Take out one Quartzy Boy. Tireless tractor over two years. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. I think smashing might be better than turn timber symbiosis. Uh, we are playing standard.
This seems fine. Is Standard good again? It kind of feels that way. I don't have any current criticisms of Standard, which is good and rare. Good and rare. Um, Because of Mammoth, we're probably going to keep this hand... And we're on the draw, so we're just gonna draw one of the one of the pathways. We didn't. I lied to you. What I lied to you. What I lied to you. Three non-lands. You got it. You're giving me you're giving me life here. Okay, well not 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 much life, but life you know, some life I guess. Wow, our hits are three drop, two drop, five drop, five drop. So one, two, three. Still three no this is look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six non lands. This shuffler is trash. Okay. I see. We're getting cute. Wow, that's amazing. Three five drops in a row. That's incredible. You can count this. Fascinating. That's insane. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'll take it. What do I say something that wasn't true? Get a green here. Don't have a counter spell. I bet you do. Oh, I guess he got drowned in the lucky boy. You got it. Wait, they didn't play their oh it got ex it got exiled. It was exiled. Oh look, two two four drop. So our draws this game have been five drop, five drop, five drop, four drop, four drop. So that's cool. Oh yeah. Um I guess we'll just play bone bone city bitch, bone bone city moon. And then we'll play this guy. Next time we can play Garrick, make this guy a seven. All right, they'll take two. Sure. Lots of things are happening. What I say something that wasn't true. Well, we have all three Garricks in our hand, so that's the thing. I still feel like we're way ahead right now. One land and like our hand is just bananas. They had to be four for that? Sure, you got it. I got more I got two more Garricks, bro. And this thing. Okay, so basically they're dead. Look at our hand. Vivian, Vivian, Elder Garrick, Garrick. Oh, that's sad. See, why would you do that? 
I cannot believe you've done this. You're just gonna go two. Okay, well, that's a bold strategy, Cotton. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Oh my god, Tr Chad with the resub at 79 months? That's unheard of. I've never heard of such a thing. Buddy, thank you so much, my god. That's amazing. Hmm. Hmm. It is a long time. It has been a long time. So you have to double block here if I if I do this, but that doesn't matter because we still get to just eat this guy. <sighs> but then our guy lives, right? So Garrick number three. Oh, well, it turns out stealing our questing beast was a very good play. Yep, okay. Well, we're definitely getting rid of old questy. You got it. We did four, huh? Sure. So this being at three puts this down to four, two, three, four, then we have four mana. So it's actually, we're like one mana away from actually being able to do that into this. I mean, it might just be Henge here and then gain two. I mean, it doesn't put anything on the board. But if they kill our blocker, then we die for sure. Oh, my math was also wrong. This would be six, not four. No, if they had lock, it doesn't matter what they do. They kill our creature or they counter this. So it doesn't matter at that point. Now they basically have to kill this guy or else they die to it next turn. cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. This is ten. I have six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just add a green. Jeez. 
sure. Yep, that's probably the end. Wow, I thought this game was over ten turns ago and then they stole our questing beast. Yep, we only have three left, and we've drawn every five drop in our deck. I mean, to be fair, we missed 14 land drops and drew every five and six drop in our deck, so... That's cool. <laughs> what can you do? Yeah, I'll keep this. Six inches of snow? Good grief. <sighs> Alright, take it easy, Chief. Ram through and bone crusher sounds good. They're gonna drown this guy in a lock, that's gonna be fun. Oh my god, it resolved? That guy sounds feels real good on this board. In this matchup, should I say? Wow, that's wild. Um, sure, just get to eat that guy. Okay. One, two, Codus Lobro. Play green. Play in my moth. I think they're just going to wipe the ward. Oh, no, they're just eliminating that. Good game. The fuck? Why good game there? That's super weird. Draw four is my entire turn. A classic. Make a six six. No, actually make like a how much how much do we make? A twelve twelve. <laughs> Okie dokie. Fantastic. I mean they could blood chief it, but I don't know what that does. I mean, so they can say even with a, uh, with an extinction event, and that's pretty good, but then we just get to play Questing Beast, and we still get to keep Crasher, so. You got it. Oh man, 1-1. One, one. So they have to block here. 5-6. Uh, Heartless Act? Wait, these guys have Trample though. What's happening right now? Okay, good game. 
Nicely done. Seems good. So Great Henge was good. I was a big fan of what Great Henge did. Oh yeah, give me those sweet uncommons. Okay, do we make any changes? What did we like? What did we not like? I feel like I never draw Tangled Florahedron, but that's okay. I wonder if Garrick's Uprising is just worse than... Like, we have four Harbinger and four Bone Crusher, both of which turn on Uprising. Mammoth doesn't. Clothis does if it's a creature, but Mammoth is also just a, uh, a land. That's it's fine. Yeah, alright. We're just gonna keep trying. I don't know. I, I don't see any flaws yet. What the heck is what? You're gonna have to be more specific than that. <laughs> yeah, Stream Raiders is just a game we can play in between rounds and things, so. It's free. It's a free game. Free to play. Um, we're gonna go Mammoth into Mountain into Tangled Florahedron, I think. Or we can just go this, this into Florahedron and keep the Mammoth just in case we wanna. But we have so many three drops here that I'm not super concerned. I think it depends on what we draw. If we draw a land, then we'll probably just keep Mammoth. In the seven years I've been subbed, what is in your favorite standard deck? Mine is still the one that got me. Yeah, I knew it was going to be unexpected results. That's hilarious. That deck has definitely withstood the test of time. I have no idea, Chad. That's like a really hard question because like, it's there's been so many, dude. That's such a hard question. I think it's got to be Codus Lobra. I mean, he's never going to live. They never don't have it, but... Golos Ultimatums was fun. There was a pretty sh a pretty sweet moment in Golos Ultimatums, for sure. Hmm. <laughs> My arena review, wow, that's hilarious. Wow, that's crazy. I kinda just wanna take this guy out, I'll be honest. Oh my god, affinity with them clutch clips is right. I like Elephant into Fabled Passage here because now we can keep up 5-5 five, five as a blocker. It's a 1 1. Wild. Jeez. That's funny. That's really annoying. <sighs> Maybe Primal Might's good in here.
Maybe... Uh, does it matter if we crack this? It goes to a 5-5. Five, five. This guy goes to a 7-7. Seven, seven. We're taking 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 this turn. That's pretty brutal. I mean, it's, it's better than not, I guess. I don't know. I don't think it really makes a difference. Yep, cool. If we had a shock, that'd be fantastic, but... Yeah, this is bad. Oh, we're just gonna go to the next game here. <laughs> that's, that's good times. Yeah, Uprising has been meh. We haven't cast it yet, but I also, like, it's not about just casting. It's about realizing that there haven't been great spots for us to cast it. Bring in two red cap melees. Mm, that seems fine. Don't worry. Isn't that cute? Pass. Wait, what? This is okay. Sure. That's nice. Totally bone crusher giantess. Yep. Wouldn't you like to get away? Um, hmm. a land would be cool here. Man, we could have went Lotus Cobra, ramp through and kept up Red Cat melee with one land. That would have been too good. Okay. Sure. Alright, well. Hey, it's a land. I think it's still red or still still forest here. No. Um red.
When you're playing the red green mirror match, the deck that has the great henge first is typically going to win. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six mana, huh? Wouldn't you like to get away? Shield breaker in the sideboard? I don't even know what that is. Ember as shield breaker? Not. Nah, I mean, like, there's just not enough artifacts. Like, just for the great hinge doesn't seem great. It's like that conversation we were having yesterday about the putting enchant removal in solely for Tefri's tutelage. Where I'm just like, that's the the, the amount we're gonna see this card and also lose to it is just nowhere near high enough to, to warrant an enchantment rule. Like, there's just not enough artifacts in standard. This is like the only artifact I can even think of off the top of my head that we'd be playing against. Yeah, Maze Mind's Tome, sure, but like... I feel like if you're actually killing a Maze Mind's Tome, they're already going to draw like two cards off of it. They did not attack, huh? Well, second red's hitting us here, unfortunately. That's hilarious. Sometimes you wanna go. Still good for stone coil, I agree, but it's just like we just you just don't see many stone coils. Like here here's a stone coil, sure, but I, I wouldn't even board in. That's actually really fucking bad. Oh, God. It's comical that we lost two artifacts while making this argument against artifacts, but... Sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? 16 minutes. 16 minutes in our stream raiders battle, so be sure to place your units, you friggin' nerds. Okay. Adventure, adventure. We're not we're not an adventure deck by any means. Take out the uprising. I don't think Brontodon is legal, no. I lied, Brontodon is legal. That's kind of funny. I had no idea, because I haven't seen it. And usually it's good enough as like a 3-4 for 3 to just play on its own. That's crazy. Um... I mean, to be fair, I'd probably just play Gem Razor. Because Gem Razor on a Lotus Cobra or a Tangled Florahedron is, is probably better than... Plus it has Trample, which fits our goal of, of Quartzwood Crasher as well, so... It's 
the one card we add here? Oh, what about, yeah, what was it, Primal? Primal might, might be better than Ram Through. The pumping is extremely relevant, plus it's one man instead of two. Yeah, that card seems great. Um... So we need one more card. What's the one what's the one more card we're gonna add here? One stone coil might just be fine. It has trample. It has protection. Yeah, let's play one stone coil. It's like it's good on on curves. I mean we had four questing beasts, I took one out. It might be correct. Prime time. Prime time seems good. I'll add a primeval titan here. Wouldn't you like to get away? So here's the thing. We can play Fable Passage on one and lose the benefit on turn three that we get with Lotus Cobra. But if Lotus Cobra doesn't survive, we'd rather have two untapped lands so we can play one of our three drops. I think we're we're doing that. I didn't know why I don't know why it didn't just go to their turn. Isn't that cute? This guy also has reach too, so that's cool. Do you think they'll ever print the Titans in standard? No, I do not. We're going to have four mana. Hmm. Wouldn't you like to get away? Do 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 do. I hate decks like this. They're just absolutely miserable to play. They just play a bunch of do nothing cards and rely on one or two creatures. I just, they're just, eh. Yep, go to eight. So block here, we take six, we gain three. I guess that's, uh, I mean, they could just bounce this guy too. So we're at virtual 11, but I'm sure they have three one drops in their hand that's gonna make it irrelevant, so. Oh, wow, they did not. 
Huh. That's fascinating. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. They give me daughters when I asked for sons. Hmm. I have no idea why you didn't attack last turn if you have this. I think it's kind of shocking to me, to be honest. Like, I block, you kill it. I, I don't understand that. Like, we would have taken, like, ten. Like, that seems absolutely terrible. Especially because we were tapped out. Like, this seems like a horrendous block. So I can play Cobra for two. So I take six here if we attack. That's pretty crazy. Oh boy. Um, plus here. They block here. Oh, they, this takes seven? Huh. That's fascinating. I don't want to die though. So we're just going to play Garrick. I guess plus make a beast. You got it, Riddle for Marino. Sure. Okay, that's a thing. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight mana. We can play everything. We have to win the turn we attack with this guy, or else we die. Let's get a second red for that Quartzwood Crasher I'm sure we'll draw eventually. Um, No attacks. None of these guys have uh, reach, so... Bravo, bravo. Skilled plays. Solid. Just so talented. 
Such talent. Yep. Take a Crasher and a... Probably all the Garrick's bringing Broken Wings. Those out. Bring a raid, raid, raid cap melee. Yeah, seems fine. It's a lot of removal. So two lands, huh? Yep, that's not gonna do. Zero fucking lands out of a twenty-six land deck actually statistically like imp it's like it's almost talent to draw zero lands and yeah sure I'll keep two lands thanks that's ridiculous yeah I assume you kept seven because all of your cards cost one mana and cycle Mm-hmm. Yep. That's just really frustrating. Like having to losing to one Shadow Skull Smashing and then fucking mulliganing to five because you don't hit lands is just absolutely infuriating. Are we going to win with one Stone Cold Serpent? Because that would be pretty cool. You got it. So they have one. They could literally just go play one, play another. Artifact, creature, or imp. I mean, what choice do we have? How about crack it? How about, how about let's go? Come on. Okay, interesting. Alright, that's three in the graveyard. I'm sure they can get a fourth here. They 
has two cards in hand. Oh. They're just taking it. Okay. We have 88 units on the field? That's insane. God, that's ridiculous. You guys, oh my god, you guys crushed it. Should they go to three here? That's aggressive. I guess they can attack for 11. It's a strategy. Sure. Let's draw a Primal Might here. Not a Gargaroth. Gargaroth seems great in this matchup because the only thing they can do is really bounce it. And they already played Brazen Barber. Is it two Brazen Barbers or just one? Just one? Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We go to two. So they have to have like Brazen Barber and something else. They, of course, they always have it. Yep. So they go to one here? Do we get to see what they are? Like... <sighs> I wish this came in to play untapped, then we can play Broken Wings, kill one of their flyers, and then also play Clothis, which would kill them. I mean, Elder Gargaroth is just... Like, they just have to deal with it, right? Sure. Just draw four cards, so... Uh... I agree, Stone Cold is definitely doing some work in this matchup. Might want a second one, I'll be honest with you. be nice. Every game must be nice. Alright, Stone Cold Serpent was definitely a beast. Actually, it's a snake, not a beast. Uh, I'm a funny boy. I can take one Garrick out. I'm just I haven't been impressed with Garrick. Six. 
6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13. Like, we don't have a lot of lands that come into play tapped. I'm going to add one more basic forest. Cool. Sweet. Good start. Oh, hey, look, there we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Amazing. Code of Slobra. Essence <laughs> Scatter, amazing. Ha ha ha! I'm playing a Bant list with Essence Scatter. This is my Bant control deck. Okay, you got it. Well, that survived. What's all that chuckle on your lips? Chocolate? That's doo doo, baby. Yeah, alright. I'll eat it. Oh, fell at our retreat, huh? Isn't that cute? Play this guy, I guess. Seems good. And again, we don't have a second red. Like, the amount of times you just don't have two red in play is fucking unbelievable. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't do anything. <sighs> Good times. This is just frustrating. I don't know why it switched to this view after never using it before, but all right. I'm not liking the Garrick, unfortunately. Like it's just, I feel like it's not going to be doing much in these situations that we have it. Let's take out a Harbinger. Broken Wings seems good against Felidar and Glass Cage and Banishing Light. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think having two red on turn five and two green on turn three is, should really be that hard in a two-color deck. It just doesn't seem like a, a, a big ask. I mean, when we mull to five and then we mull again and <laughs> still one land. Like, this is fucking unreal. Like, we have 26 lands in the deck. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> this is the third game in a row we've had a mulligan to five. Like, it's fucking unreal. Like... Twenty-six mana sources in the deck, lands. Twenty-six lands in the deck. I'm just gonna say lands from now on because it is they are lands. I get to play them as lands. And if I had a hand of three of of modal dual face lands in hand, I'm still gonna play. I'm still gonna keep the hand because it's three lands. just hard not to get frustrated by this like sweet nothing to play uh I just don't think there needs to be a fucking algorithm for it. I think that's the thing that frustrates me the most about Arena. And I try to pretend it doesn't exist. Whatever shuffler algorithm they have, fucking get out of here. Like, it just needs to be a shuffle deck. Shuffle a deck, genuinely randomize it, and just let me draw my cards. Why are we using an algorithm? I don't understand. Like, it's, not, it's completely unnatural, and it completely like affects draws and in and, and the statistic statistical randomness of magic the gathering I, I don't know it's just that's frustrating yep the old message Also, I'd legit kill for a friggin' Rootbound Crag or a, uh, or a Stomping Ground. I was a burger, right? I agree. The correct solution was simpler. It's, I don't understand. Like, an algorithm almost seems like cheating, I'll be honest with you. It feels really weird. And it feels like it makes the games really disingenuous. Like, oh, okay, cool. So I only drew lands because the client helped me? Like, okay, that's fucking strange, but... Yeah, I think check lands and shock lands are, are two of my favorite lands for... Uh, for standard Sh shock lands can always come into play untapped if you want them to and check lands uh, can frequently come into play untapped if you need them to it's it's th those are the best those are my favorite land types yep okay so every turn you've had an answer for the things I'm playing sounds good We're gonna do this now because Elspeth's gonna go up, so... So it's just gonna cost four and we don't have four, so... This leaves them open to, like, get it back, but... 60 card land deck. Hmm.
Do we have to kill the Graves? I don't understand what's going on in this matchup. Um, I kind of just want to play this guy. Sure. I'm not playing this as a land because we have no six drops in the deck. And if we hit land, land, we can actually just cast it. Um, but now I'm... Ta and, and, like, it comes into play untapped, so we can just play it if we really need to. Yep. I assume you're going to take Crasher, which is fine. We get a 5-5 five, five when it comes back. Oh, you're going to take Harbinger. Well, I assume you have Banishing Light for Crasher, and you just don't want me to get that back. It's okay. Interesting. I still don't understand why you wouldn't take this and leave this. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. That's why, yeah, it doesn't hit Crasher. You guys are smart. That makes a lot more sense. This card just has a lot of text. Non-token, non-land. Okay. Uh, has to be converted mana cost four or less. Okay. When this guy dies, you get this. You don't get this back, but it does make an illusion. Okay. When I first read this card, it was extremely confusing. I see. We got four, five, six. Yeah, pay five. I'm gonna the stranglehold, baby. See now, one more land, and we can actually play this, which is nice. I, I would never gain three. I would probably gain. I would make a three three uh, and, and advance my board position, or I would draw a card. But they have seven cards in hand. I guess they're just really hard on lands right now, and I'm not sure. I'll see your Elder Gargroth and play an Elder Gargroth of my own. All right. Well, they got themselves a turn. Yep. I'll put count. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> oh, good. How nice. The post uh, vanishing. That's very nice. That's very good. You thought you had a creature, stupid. <laughs> All right. Oh, dear. So this guy just gets to eat an Elder Gargaroth, because it's a 7-7, seven, seven, right? Oh, if it's 3 or less. No, it's just a 4-4. Four, four. Dang it. It might just be Gargaroth. If three cards in hand still. Sure. Well, they don't necessarily... No, they don't have to block it. They just take four. I mean, that doesn't... Fascinating. Alright. Sure.
59 allies on the board? Man. I don't care what these graves got in store for us. We're gonna crush it. Yep, that's pretty good. for us of course but you know for them it's great I hope out of hand for you. yep what's that elder gargoth number four one right two there. nope only number three i guess let's get your sky clave apparition a oh, questing beast how oh, nice yeah vivian's great uh yeah no blocks i guess i'll just uh take seven here we can kill banishing light here and we're, and we're, as, a, as a little secret yeah. oh boy the never don't have it train just keeps on rolling Vigilance, Vigilance. So good. So we block here, we gain 3, we go to 10, we take 10. Uh, we block here. This guy got Vigilance. Yeah, we can block here, block here. Let's draw a card. That's a good one. I'm just I'm not having fun anymore. <laughs> this is like, this is actually a fun deck until we had a mulligan to five every single fucking game and our opponent just always had it. Do you have a wrath? No, my red green deck does not have a wrath in it. So, let's tweak. Garrick Unleashed. I don't even know if Bone Crusher is that great. Um, stone coil. Go up to four. Harbinger might be less good without the, um... Hmm. Pro Hexproof from Black is pretty decent. forest so we're adding more lands technically like I'm not, it's not even technical right like these are lands one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
20, 27. I mean, already have three Clothis in the main. I don't think we need a fourth one in the sideboard. I do like Gem Razor, though. We do have Stone Coil Serpent, which does have Trample. Oh, one cloth is to the board, you said? Um. I don't know. Clothis also seems very good. Hmm. Okay. Jam.pan, uh, you can connect the, uh, if you connect your Twitch account with Discord, it should invite you automatically once you, once you have those connected. Is this correct? <laughs> I don't know. I could see one closest to the sideboard. But then what do we put in its place? Is there any better two drops that like, there's no Lotus Cobra Corollary, right? There's nothing like Lotus Cobra that actually, maybe one more Primal might. Maybe you should play some proliferate cube to relax. <laughs> Maybe you should get banned or temporarily timed out. Did you ever think about that? It's hard for me to say anything considering you're rarely able to keep seven card openers. I agree. You really have to build a deck uh, under the assumption you will start with five cards in your opening hand. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Okay, three lands and a cobra. Three lands and a cobra. Keep seven, that's what I wanna do. That's a hinge. That's a big card to draw. And then turn. Yep. Jam dog pan, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Of course they have that. Why wouldn't they? There's no chance they don't have a removal spell for our creature. And Great Henge is a great that's a great draw. Uh, auto auto pay. Uh, yep, just uh, gonna keep seems good. All 
our battle is ready. Vigilance. Man, Clothis is a real good addition for the mono red deck, huh? We'll just make a Ricci boy. And what else do we do? Can't crash her again, because again, two two red is real hard to get here. Uh one, two, three, four, five. We can go we can actually quest and beast primal might something. That seems okay. All my creatures have vigilance. That's pretty good. Yep. I'm gonna confirm zero. Uh, this guy on the bird. That's pretty good. This is five. One, two, three, four, five. We'd have three mana left over. That doesn't do much. Crasher is a six, six, which means I, I, I want another main. I just want another casting cost for this without having to do math. Um, seven. Okay. So, five, so this costs four, one, two, three, four, five, we don't have four. I feel like the life gain is more relevant here. Where them drafts at? Uh, well, proliferate cube is up, and then it's not my bread and butter, my friend. Deals two damage for red source, you control, deals two plus damage. Okay, that's actually terrible. Yep, that's pretty bad. That's very bad. So we take four from that? Jesus Christ. That's unbelievable. Congrats on hitting my Clothis. Yep. Cool. That's ridiculous. They had nothing here? Wow, that's weird. Hmm. It's a beautiful day. Let us Oh. 
Oh, okay. That's interesting. One, two, three, four. It's not terrible. Um. Jeez, I might just want to keep up Bone Crusher, though. Because this is going to be four, and Clothis. Actually, we're. We're dead if we don't keep up Bone Crusher, right? Vigilance. Reach. Oh, you have Reach, though. Yeah, we'll just play New Henge and keep up Bone Crusher. One, two, three, four. We can also just play this as a 2-2, two, two, which is a 3-3, three, three, but I... I think we're just gonna wait to do that. Do not feel like attacking is in our best interest here. Sure. It's a beautiful day. Yep, you got it. I feel like this is gonna be a it's a game to navigate here, my dudes. If they have a Rimrock Knight, like, it's just it's over. Ha! <laughs> Fucking Embercleave. Oh, fuck this deck and its stupid ass. That's amazing. Yep. Cool. Yeah, the battle's ready, but we're not going to do it while we're sideboarding. Um... Hold on a second. Gotta make one more cut, huh? That's a keeper. I'm definitely blocking. Like, if you have a Rimrock Knight, that's fine. Sure. One, two, three. Nope, that does not do it.
Well, we have one card, they have five. We have five lands, so that's pretty good. Okay, well, that was a game. That was a beautiful, beautiful game. It's a beautiful game! Jiggity Jaws, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Jiggity Jaws, don't talk about my Jiggity Jaws. There's a person whose whole Facebook account is called Kathy Sims Halpert, and their whole deal is they're obsessed with the other that Jim should have left Pam and dated Kathy. These, oh, Jesus. Kathy was terrible. This is like this hand. Okay, I'll keep the same exact hand with one less card, I guess. And no red sources. Womp womp. Which one's Pam? <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, Kathy was the one that Jim went to Florida with for the uh, Dunder Mifflin thing. Okay, between Bone Crusher, Shock, and Spike Field Hazard, I wonder which one's gonna kill this, co this Cobra. Oh, it's a Bone Crusher. There we go. Oh, goody. Yep. These matches have been a blast. This has not been as fun today, unfortunately, so. What can you do? Hmm. Yep, I'll just take six. Oh, an Embercleave. Always a pleasure. Always a fun, fun card. I like when they were. I bet when they were designing this, they're like, "Let's let's design a, an artifact uh, for the red deck and equipment that will make it as little fun as possible for every person who they play against." Okay. Either way, thank you guys for watching. We're done here. I'm uh, I've had about enough, and uh, we're gonna try something different. So, thank you for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me at manatraders.com. You get fifteen percent off. The first three months of any subscription, which is a great deal for uh, an awesome rental service for Magic Online. If you guys are looking to play uh, Pioneer, Modern, Historic, Standard, you name it. You can play all those formats and uh, don't have to spend money to invest in the cards. You can just rent them and see what you like. You can also check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore. That's a great way to support the channel as well with an awesome internet security solution. So definitely check that out and I'll see you guys next time.